Kharkiv residents told how they survive under Russian attacks. This is our reality. Despite the constant Russian missile attacks on Kharkov, the city is trying to live a normal life and adapt to the new norms. Cafes remain open, weddings take place, students celebrate graduation. As The Times writes, the city's residents are not giving up. This is the spirit of Kharkiv, said the city's mayor Igor Terekov. It is very important that Kharkiv continues to live despite all the rocket attacks. Before the invasion, Kharkiv had a population of 1.4 million and up to 2 million if students and temporary workers are taken into account. Today, the population is just over a million. However, the city authorities have done everything possible to persuade residents to stay. They have reduced taxes for businesses and provided free public transport as well as free daily meals for the most vulnerable people in Kharkiv. Another problem with the constant shelling is education. Schools in Kharkiv have been closed since the start of the invasion and most children are learning online. It is hard to study when there are explosions outside, says one student Nikita. You feel burnt out and apathetic and don't want to do anything. At the same time, the city's educational institutions are gradually moving underground, the Times reports. Makeshift classrooms have been opened in several metro stations and the city plans to open several new underground schools in September. Cultural events are also being held in basements and bomb shelters. To outside observers, such events may seem depressing, but to local residents, they are welcome evidence that their city is gradually adapting to new realities, the article says. When we hear about such things, we rejoice, because for us, it is an opportunity not to leave our city, not to leave our homes and continue living here. We just need to build our lives differently, says city resident Polina Chenenko. The city's housing market continues to function, although property prices are now half what they were before the Russian invasion. I agree that it may seem strange to buy property during a war, but life goes on. And we all believe in our armed forces, says Elena, who recently bought an apartment on the outskirts of Kharkov. This mixture of resilience and humility is not unique to Kharkiv, the Times reports. On Friday afternoon, a Russian missile hit a residential building in central Dnipro. Just two blocks away, people were still sitting in cafes. We heard the rocket above us before it hit, the waitress said. But everyone is used to things like this happening. Of course, it's sad, but what can we do? This is our reality. We can't spend our whole lives in bomb shelters. Biden is ready to withdraw from the presidential race on only one condition. According to journalists of Axios Media Outlet, the current American leader Joe Biden is ready to fight for the presidential seat with his rival Donald Trump. However, he can drop out of the race if his family so decides. The editors of the publication emphasize that the head of the White House does not give up just because his family and close friends believe in his victory. If Biden stays, it will be for the same reason he decided to run again. He and his family believe that his chances of defeating Trump are higher than those of Vice President Kamala Harris, the report says. According to journalists, the First Lady of the United States, Biden's younger sister, Valerie, and 85-year-old Ted Kaufman, a longtime friend and constant advisor to the president, as well as a small group of White House advisors, are the people whose opinions the American leader relies on. This perennial kitchen cabinet operates as an extended family, a council of elders, and a ruling oligarchy. Only these allies have an influence on important and small decisions in the life and presidency of Biden. The publication writes, Biden's family urged him to stay in the 2024 election race. Besides, they privately discussed whether senior aides should be fired after Biden's speech at the debate, reports CNN. Advisors to the American leader said that the Biden family, including First Lady Jill Biden, son Hunter Biden and their grandchildren, gathered at Camp David for a previously scheduled meeting and urged the president to continue his re-election campaign. One advisor said the family members expressed their unequivocal support. According to a CNN source, the family, clearly disappointed with the team that prepared Biden for the debate with the former president, Donald Trump, discussed whether to fire any of the top advisors and make changes to the campaign staff.